Welcome everybody to uh, Switch Tools 2.0 back again. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your CAD channel in IMAP settings. I'm going to explain everything about it, every single concept. Uh, you'll know everything that you need to know about CAD channel and IMAP by the end of this video. Now, first of all, I know CAD channel and IMAP, you guys probably don't know what these words mean. Uh, it's don't, don't, don't bother too much about it. Catch all is just, it's, it's in the word. It says this catch and then all that means it catches all of the emails. And what a catch all is, is a master mail that's going to receive all of your emails from wherever you're forwarding your emails from. So say I have a bunch of Gmails and I'm forwarding them all to my master email. That's going to be my catch all email. Uh, and then IMAP is just, it's just a termination. Uh, it just, it's, it's, it, it just means it's part of what we need. Uh, IMAP is, so, is something that helps us connect to your master email through our bot. So there's a few concepts you guys have to understand. Uh, and I think I just explained it to it. It's basically, you have the master mail. This is the email that receives all of the emails that, and that's the email going to, that's going to be connected in your, uh, IMAP and catch all uh, settings in the doc here. Um, and then afterwards you have catch all domain, which is usually going to be an account domain, which is going to be forwarding all of the emails. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that in this video as well. Um, uh, essentially you, if I put a test here, if I'm sending a, um, if I'm sending a email to, uh, Gardasio at, uh, my catch all domain.com, if I send an email to this, this domain is going to forward because I'm going to have my forward set up, uh, through, through this email and this, through this domain, and it's going to forward, uh, the, all the emails that get sent to this email to my master email that I'm going to preset whenever I'm setting up my forwarding. Uh, I could send an email to uh, test123 and it's still going to send uh, all emails to that one master email. Now, there's another concept you guys have to understand and usually uh, it'll come when you're using email lists is uh, if you're using forwarded emails or forwarded uh, Google accounts or whatever it is, um, you have to keep in mind that uh, if you use an email list, you have to uh, forward all of the emails to your main mail. And I'm going to explain that as well, um, with the Google forwarding, but we are here to teach you how to, uh, set up your, 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 uh, your master email here in swish. Uh, so first of all, one thing you guys have to understand is that through IMAP, and again, I'll explain what IMAP is, is just what we use to connect to your master mail. Um, we need, we for Google and Yahoo, we need to create an application password. Uh, so we can connect to your uh, master mail for outlook. We don't so I'll just go down the one by one and I'll show you guys how to connect uh, your Google account your Yahoo account and your outlook account So first of all for Google account and Google account email here What you want to do is you want to simply put the email of, of your master email. So um, If I look here, what is my master email is going to be this one so I'm simply going to copy this control V on my keyboard. And then I'm going to put my master mail email here. Now I have to create a, an app password for my email. Uh, so I'm, what I'm going to go is I'm going to go here. I'm going to go to manage your Google accounts and close this. I'm going to go to security right here. I have to activate two step verification first. So if you have not done this, you have to do this before you can pause this video while you do this. Once you have two step verification activated, what you want to go is you want to go to app passwords here. You're going to put your password of your Google account and you're going to uh, select app right here. And then you click on other, and then here you can name it, whatever you want, whatever you want. So let's do switch tools, uh, 2.0. And then I'm going to click on generate, make sure to save this password because once you click on done, you never get it back unless you saved it. So you can simply copy this control C on your keyboard to copy and then control V here to, uh, to paste. And then all you have to do now is just click on test connection and you're going to have a blue uh, check mark here. You just have to save your settings. And then if you go back uh, and forth, you're going to see that it's connected now. Um, now you guys can probably see there's a huge button here, uh, meaning that you need, you need to click on this button to declare which master mail is going to be using whenever you're going to be, uh, doing some email verification, uh, uh, during, um, tasks or any modules. So that's essentially it for, uh, Google now in same fashion for Yahoo. Uh, it's the exact same thing. What you want to do is, uh, say I'm, I'm, I just logging onto my Yahoo account. I'm going to click right here. I'm going to go to account info. I'm going to close this. I'm going to go to account security. 
and I'm going to go to, you don't need a 2FA for this one, you're just gonna click on generate app password, get started, you're gonna name your app and then you're gonna get your app password in the same fashion as Google. And then lastly, for Outlook, <clears throat> All that you want to do for Outlook is you want to put your uh, Outlook login information, uh, meaning that this is my Outlook email and this is my Outlook password to log in into my account. Um, so if I do this and I go to Outlook and then I do this, I put my password in, I'm going to click on test connection, you're going to see connection has been successful, I'm going to click on save, I'm going to go back and forth, you're going to see it's connected and then right now. If I want to use this as my master mail, I have to click on use right here. And if I wasn't use my Google as my master mail, I want to click on use right here. So that's it for connecting your, your Google account to your master mail. Now let's talk about forwarding. So there's two types of forwarding that you can do. First of the first very common forwarding uh, technique that you can do is just through Google forwarding. Um, if you uh, want to run the Google forwarder, I would highly recommend go to docs.switch.bot and go scroll down to the uh, modules here and you're going to see Google Gmail forwarding here and you're going to see all of the steps that is required to set up your Google forwarding. So uh, what you want to keep in mind is whenever you're doing that Google forwarding step, you want to forward to that main email here. So because because this is the email that's connected to your bot. So this is through, through this email, the bot will go into all the emails of this one and it's going to go in and parse and look for codes if it, and any email verification uh, step is needed. Uh, I, I hope you guys are starting to understand the gist of it, but um, if I, uh, I'm going to bootleg it, don't mind uh, my paint, but uh, I love doing this. It's a very easy way of explaining it. If So I have, uh, if we talk about just, uh, I have, say I have a hundred uh, Gmails, Gmails, I'm going to make my size a bit bigger, and all of these Gmails, I just ran the forwarding modules to forward to my master email, which is going to be, uh, I'm just going to say M and G, uh, uh, M E for master email. So this is my master email and then through my, and then through my master email, the bot, so, so through my master email that I connected right here, the bot is going to be able to, to go back here and catch all of the emails that are being uh, either forwarded from here or either straight up received from through to through this email. So that's essentially how it works. Please don't mind the, the bootleg paint, but that, that's the easiest way to understand it. Now, um, if we go in the same fashion, now we don't have a hundred Gmails. I have an account domain that's going to be uh, forwarding, and I'm going to set up the forwarding and delete on this video. I have a, an account domain that's going to be forwarding all the emails. So say my uh, so I have an account domain. I'm going to say A uh, and then D for account domain, and this account domain is forwarding all of the emails to my master email, which is going to be M E, and then again through the same fashion, my master email here is connected inside of my bot in the catch all and IMAP section right here. And whatever an email verification step is needed, my bot will go back here and is gonna catch all of the emails that is being either forwarded or either straight up sent to this email. So that's it, you understand how forwarding works, you understand how the IMAP works, you understand uh, why we, we work through this structure, it's just the goal is so the bot, so all the emails can go to one place and then through that one place, the bot can connect and catch all of those emails. That's it. So I hope you guys understand this a bit better. Um, lastly, I would like to show you guys how to forward an, uh, a, uh, a, with an account domain. Uh, so obviously we talked about Google uh, uh, forwarding forward emails. So again, if you guys want to forward a bunch of emails, uh, just follow this uh, step. If you guys want to do uh, forwarding through Outlook, the forwarding for Outlook is straight up to the generator. Uh, we don't have any Yahoo forwarder, so you can't really forward with iYahoo, so that's pretty much a, a dead end. Um, so let's talk about uh, let's let's talk about uh, forwarding with an account domain, which is usually what we're going to call a catch-all domain because it's a catch-all. It's it's going to catch all of the emails, send them to your master email, and uh, basically your master email is going to catch them all. Um, so what I did is I purchased a, I purchased a domain on Namecheap. Uh, you can purchase a domain anywhere that you want. It does not matter. All that you need is that you're able to access some advanced DNS or you can modify the DNSs. So once you've set up your, uh, you've purchased your domain, 
what you want to do is go to advanced DNS and what we're going to work with today is going to be Ford email .net. It's, it's been something I've been using for years and years and it has never failed me. They do not block emails. It's a complete free service and it's absolutely wonderful. It's super, super fast. So it's great. So first step is what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my domain that I just purchased. I'm going to basically go to forward email.net. I'm going to create an account, log in probably to my Google account. I'm going to put my domain here and I'm going to unclick here so I don't have to pay. So it's free. I'm going to click on continue. And then once I click on continue, it's going to ask me to modify and add a few records into my DNSs. So don't, don't be scared of all this. Just follow my instructions and everything will be fine. So first of all, what you want to do is you want to be able to find. So if you're using uh, GoDaddy, if you're using any sort of different platforms, just try to uh, replicate what I'm doing. But if you want, you can just use Namecheap.com, which is, in my opinion, the easiest. So first thing we want to do is set up our MX records. Okay. So what we're going to do here is when we're going to click on a new record, we're going to, the host, as they mention it is going to be either uh, an ad sign or we're going to leave it blank. We're going to do an ad sign. The mail server here is going to be MX one dot forward email dot net. So I'm going to click to copy this control V on my keyboard to paste it. And the priority is going to be 10 and I'm going to, and that's it. I'm just going to click on the check mark to save my changes. Uh, and then I'm just going to repeat the same process one more time. So at sign, or you can leave it blank one or the other. Uh, my mail server is going to be MX two forward mail dot net. I'm going to paste this with control V and my priority is going to be the same thing. It's going to be 10. I'm going to click on the check mark to see my changes and that's it. It's good. So now what you've done is you've just given access to your, you, you've just given access um, to, to your domain to uh, forwardmail.net. Now the last step that you want to do is, if we scroll down just a bit more, is the text record. So what is the text record? And you guys can probably see here is my Google account that I, was, that I just created that I'm using as my master email here. Uh, so you want to, you, you essentially what you want to do is you want to declare where do I want all the emails to get forwarded through my domain. So you have to put forward dash email equals, and then here you have to put the domain, the, the email uh, or the Google account or whichever email you want uh, all the emails to forward to. So what I'm going to do, since this is already in the good format that I want, I'm going to click on copy and I'm, and as it says, I want a text record. So I'm going to click on add new record here. I'm going to do text TXT record. Host is going to be either blank or an ad sign. It's going to be an ad sign here. And I'm going to paste whatever I just put here. So, uh, and again, I, I'll just give you guys an example. If I want to forward all the emails to cardassio at gmail.com, this is how I would do it. If I want to forward all the emails to say my Outlook account that I just did, I would just do it like this. But what I want is to forward it to my Google account. So I'm going to just put it like this and then you can leave this as automatic and you're going to click on the check mark button to click on save. That's it. You're done. You've just set up your, your, um, your domain. All you want to do is you want to go back to your section here and you can click on verify records. Uh, so essentially it's just going to verify that you've put the correct values everywhere. Um, and again, there's one thing, uh, so with DNS and all that stuff, sometimes it can take a bit of time to, uh, settle, but that's not a problem. Just wait right around 15 to 30 minutes and they're going to be, uh, working. Sometimes it can work within two minutes. Sometimes it can work, uh, super quickly. I think it just works. So yeah, you see, it just works super easily. Now, uh, and as a final uh, step for the video, I'm going to give you an example of how to, an example of how fo like forwarding uh, emails works. I'm going to go on gmail.com and what I'm going to do is I'm going to come. Actually, I'm going to go on my Outlook account because I can't send from the same email that's receiving because you're never going to receive it. But I'm going to go on my Outlook account and I'm going to send. So you guys keep, bear in mind the domain is swish gags. That X, Y, Z. So I'm going to go back on my email account and I'm going to do a few tests. So I want to send an email to, uh, swish, uh, tools to 20, uh, at, and then you're going to put your domain here. So essentially anything that you put on this side, it does not matter. And anything that you put on this side, you have to put your domain here. I'm going to press enter to just put my email. Uh, I'm going to put tests two and then tests. And then I'm simply just going to send this email. 
Now, you're going to see, I sent this email to swishtools20 at swishgags.xyz. And you're going to see that I'm going to receive it here. I should receive it. Uh, it might be going to my spam. Uh, sometimes it can. Okay, so that's actually you know the good thing to, to talk about. Sometimes since I just set up my uh, my forwarding here, it can take some time um, to uh, receive or to settle everywhere. Um, ah, but see, I just received my email. So if we look at the email here, the email was sent to switchtools20 at switchgags.com, but you see my email is this. Why? Because the forwarding worked successfully. So yeah, that's essentially all that you need to know about Cash on IMAPs. You guys are officially pros. You guys know how to, you know how to uh, forward with a domain. And you, if, if you guys want to forward with the Gmail accounts, then you can run the forwarding module to set it up. And yeah, thank you very much, boys.